Morning everyone. Today is going to be special. We have a new energy drink to test. So Michael with Campus Protein uh, sent me this new keto meltdown or meltdown keto, however you want to say it. I think either one works. It is from the makers of Bang and VPX Sports. So we're going to test this out today, see what it tastes like, see how it makes us feel, and more importantly, see what it does to our blood glucose and our ketones. So let's jump right into it. Let's test our blood. All right, let's start by testing our blood glucose. Ninety nine. Wow, we're a little bit high this morning. Okay, let's test the ketones. Starting points 1.1. So let's taste this and drink this energy drink. First initial taste is good. It is not super sweet like all the other stuff. Like I love Bang, and don't get me wrong, but sometimes Bang is a little overly sweet. But man, this is perfect on taste. I will definitely, definitely buy these. Um, let's just chug it. Why not? A little hard to chug, it's cold. That's good, that is really good. Let's talk about this product. So right off the bat, it's 12 ounces, it's not like the bigger cans, like the 16 ounce, but bangs and all those other energy drinks like Monster and stuff. Uh, so, you know, to shotgun one of these or drink them quickly would probably be okay to do. Whereas, you know, a lot of people don't just take a bang energy drink and just drink the whole thing and then go work out. I feel like this would be something that if you wanted to supplement your workout with, you could pretty much drink it quick. It was super cold, so it was hard for me to drink really quick. So. Uh, let's get to the supplements in it and uh, just the ingredients overall. So first thing that is great about it is the electrolytes. And with doing the ketogenic diet, you're constantly flushing those electrolytes because your body's not holding on to water due to the absence of carbohydrates. So you always want to get as much electrolytes as you can. That's why when people say, oh, you're having too much salt in your diet. Well, if you're doing keto, no, you're not because you're flushing it constantly. Um, it shows sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Uh, the next thing that really you know stands apart from all the other energy drinks is it has go bhb in it so your beta hydroxybutyrate or beta hydroxybutyrate however you want to say it. it's bhb everybody knows that in the keto community so um, the go bhb so exogenous ketones exenius ketones whatever you want to call it it has that in there um seven seventy five hundred milligrams so and that's kind of a mix of different uh bhb so it's got sodium bhb potassium bhb magnesium bhb calcium bhb and uh, so the proprietary blend, uh, a lot of people always complain about that. Oh, we don't really know what we're getting, but really all I'm looking at is it's 250 milligrams and that's caffeine and uh, thecrine or tecrine. So uh, it's a form of creatine. Uh, a lot of these energy drinks now, especially these ready to drink like workout drinks. Uh, I think C4 has one, uh, you know, uh, I know Mr. Hyde has one now, obviously bang. A lot of these have creatine in it. You know, this is tea cream. Uh, just look it up if you want to know anything about that. But either way, there's 250 milligrams of that in there with the caffeine. So I'm not 100% sure how much caffeine is in this, but um, I'm guessing, you know, anywhere from 150 to 200, you know, give or take a few. If I find the actual information on that, I'll let you know about it. Um, ingredients. So I'm looking at the ingredients and the, the only, uh, Thing that I see that anybody would ever even 
talk crap about a sucralose, but I'll be honest with you, I'd rather sucralose be in there than multidextrin or dextrin or, you know, all these other aspartanes and that kind of stuff. So sucralose, that's awesome. I'm totally cool with that. So anyway, uh, let's wait to take our blood and see what it does to our blood glucose and what it does to our blood ketones. I'll see you in a moment. We're at the 30 minute mark. We're gonna test our blood glucose and ketones. We're gonna test it at an hour and then we're gonna test it at two hours. Okay. Get all that jet? Uh -huh. Blood glucose. We are at 99 if you remember. Okay. 97, so we've dropped down a little bit, which is good. Okay. <laughs> You're cracking me up, buddy. <coughs> oh, that. Oh, wow. Started at 1.1. I'm hoping that it has went up. You know, it does have go BHB in it, so it should go up. It should. One point three, so we've already went up point two, and it's only been thirty minutes. Um, let's come back in thirty more minutes, and that'll be the hour mark, and then the last final test will be the two-hour mark. Real quick, thirty minutes in to drinking uh, meltdown keto or keto meltdown. I think you could say it either way, and nobody would be upset about it. I have lots of energy. I feel great. I was uh, telling Amanda, man, if we didn't have the kids right now, we'd be going to the gym and banging out a workout because I feel great. Um, in 30 minutes, we've already rose 0.2 in our ketone levels. That's great, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. So as of right now, awesome. It's lowering my blood sugar slowly by slowly, but I'm even more fasted and fasted. Um, well, I broke my fast, that don't make any sense. Anyway, um, just initial thoughts, love it so far. So I'm hoping at the hour mark, we get even higher ketones and the two hour mark, we even go back up. If you remember, bang, bang, um, was great for us and then when it hit the two hour mark it started doing something weird with our blood glucose it didn't affect our ketones that much but it more affected our blood glucose but a lot of people are going to use bang and these uh type of ready to drink energy drinks as a workout so you know you're going to burn off any kind of sugar that your body's producing during that time and a lot of bodybuilders will tell you you know you should be doing some carbohydrate loads before you work out to increase your sugar you know targeted keto is the same way I'm gonna stop rambling on either way. I don't need to get into all the science of it, but as of right now, it's good, it's good. We are now at the hour mark. We are going to test the blood glucose. Okay. Okay. Ninety-nine, so we came back up to ninety-nine. Now we're gonna test blood ketones. One point one. So we're back where we started, and that is an hour after drinking the meltdown keto. We're going to come back in approximately one more hour, and that will be the two-hour mark. And I will be absolutely starving at that point, so I'll eat immediately after that. But so far, so good. It has been two hours. This is going to be our final test. Um, the neighbors weed eating and mowing out outside, so it's like super loud. Of course, I don't know if it's any less loud with the washer dryer going in the background. But we need to finish this up and conclude this test. This is a two hour mark. So two hours from drinking the Meltdown Keto. Do our blood glucose first. We originally started at 99 and we went down a little bit and then we came back up to 99. We are at 93, so that's beautiful. Now for the true test. We started at 1.1 1 .1 
and then we went to uh, I think like 1.3 or 1 1.5 something like that and then back down to 1.1 so we at least want to be at 1.1 right Point A. I apologize if the sound quality is bad, but uh, I can't go outside. We're washing stuff. This is the best I can do. All right, so I know we jumped down um, to point eight, but remember we've not had any kind of fats today. All we've had is that energy drink. Um, for the most part, it was good. It stayed good. I'm definitely saying it's keto friendly right now, 100%. If you're gonna drink uh, an energy drink, it's just as good as you doing bang or something like that. But the fact that you're introducing um, those ketones with the energy drink is great so a lot of people's gonna say you know I want an energy drink when I go work out well that would definitely be a perfect one to do um, I had so much energy like within 20 30 minutes of drinking that like I would love to go to the gym right after drinking a, a can of that and see how good my workout is and maybe we'll do that just to see what the workouts like you know get up at like five o'clock in the morning shotgun one of those and then just hit the gym and don't take anything else I would love to do that but um, as far as like the ketone levels going down again you you don't have any fat you haven't put any fat in your body the whole entire day so use it as a workout supplement or if you want an energy drink drink it but for the most part it's definitely keto friendly I don't care what anybody has to say about it it is definitely keto friendly it did not knock me down and it um, it didn't raise my blood sugar actually my blood sugars you know constantly been coming down which is a great thing um, so I hope you enjoyed this video we're definitely gonna do more of these testing of uh, different energy drinks and things like that but meltdown keto is definitely my favorite as of right now um, it's gonna replace any other energy drink that I would have bought I really love bang which is from v v VPX sports which makes meltdown keto so that just makes me even happier about it until the next one keep it keto in case I forgot to mention it, Michael at Campus Protein hooked us up with that Meltdown Keto. Super awesome person. Um, if you want to get the best prices, go to campusprotein.com. They have great prices. That's where I'll be buying my Meltdown Keto at. I don't know where else you can even get it at. So just hit them up. Tell them Jason sent you from Keto Etiquette. And uh, until the next one, peace.